Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and put the elastic band over your head. Pull the straps to tighten and breathe normally. You should always put on your mask before helping others. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Los soportes de dispositivos en la parte posterior del asiento deben plegarse durante el rodaje, el despegue y el aterrizaje. Si tiene equipaje de mano, Something just happened. What? It's like the power of mind over matter. Oh, yeah. The uh, self hypnosis. I'm editing a video about our flight. Uh huh. Picture of clouds from the top, and a strange thing just happened. What? My ears popped. Uh, not everything is explainable in the world. The mind is a powerful thing. I never knew there was that much water in Dallas. in Guadalajara for cosmetic surgery so her face is swollen today but she'll be even more beautiful soon. Bienvenidos de Estados Unidos. After four hours in Dallas, looks like we're going to get a Texas sunset.
home in the USA. We feel so very fortunate to be able to have two completely different lifestyles that keep us entertained. We love Mexico, never have any regrets about buying a house down there in Ajiji, Jalisco, Mexico. But having this motor home and the Jeep in the United States is so totally different, it just keeps paradise from getting boring on either end of the map. So a long time ago, when I was first in Mexico, I went to the store there in Ajiji called, oh, every time I cook, I test my smoke alarm. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in Mexico, like 20 years ago, I went to a store there uh, called El Torito, and I found a package of Jimmy Dean sausage, you know, the little ones like this. I don't know how much it costs in the United States now. It's like, you know, three bucks or something inflation maybe it's more but this was 20 years ago and I took it up to the cash register and asked him how much it was and it was US dollars nine dollars it was in pesos of course but it converted to nine US dollars and I didn't buy it and I went home and I went on the internet and I found a recipe for what looked like Jimmy Dean hot sausage. And ever since then, for all these years, I make my own sausage. I buy ground pork, and here's what I do. I'm cooking uh, some hash browns over here. Here's what I do. I make a ball, and I'll give you the recipe for all the spices. There's like seven or eight spices in it. Um, salt pepper, ginger, thyme, nutmeg, cayenne. Anyway, I make a ball and then I pop it down there on the plate, smash it out a little flat. Now at home in Mexico, I use a cookie sheet because it'll fit in my freezer. But here I have to use uh, dinner plates because they fit in my RV refrigerator. That's what I do. I smack it down there, flatten it out, round it up a little bit. Usually have like about two plates worth. Making uh, breakfast sausage patties. And then I take out one of my favorite RV things clone wrap. Notice I took my ring off because I'm getting sausage on my hands. And in order to make a second layer, I put the cling wrap down there. Plastic food wrap it says here on the box. You can get this at Kirkland. This is like five years worth. Second plate keeps it from sticking to the bottom of the plate. And again, make a ball, smack it down on the plate. Put it up to the side so you can make room for more of them. So when uh, we make meatballs, I take one of these and use about the same amount of hamburger along with it and put oregano in it, which isn't in the sausage here. And that's how I make uh, meatballs for uh, spaghetti. This last one is going to be kind of big, but that's okay. Yeah, that last one, that's a, that's a meal. Okay, some more cling wrap. 
and that goes in the freezer. Breakfast sausage. I like the hash browns I get at uh, Walmart. So tomorrow I'll be able to have breakfast sausages. I'll take those out. They'll all be frozen and then I'll put them in a plastic bag. Gonna have an egg with my potatoes. Like a little tiny bit of salt on my egg. A lot of pepper just so it doesn't look naked. Easy over, because it's easy. And because even though I came to the States, I'm still in a Mexican frame of mind. <laughs> What'd you say, Lynn? I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm talking to my friends. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. They're your friends, too. You have anything you want to tell anybody? Hi. Huevos Rancheros. No, meatballs. Uh, I froze the sausage patties. If we want meatballs, we'll make some later. Right now, I'm going to eat some of my breakfast. What do they call that when people uh, eat? And mukbang. When they what? No, people eat on the internet, YouTube, mukbang. Okay. Never mind. Hey. Well, we've been in the States for maybe three days. And uh, getting the motorhome all sorted out, get all the systems working, tried the furnace, the hot water heater, the air conditioning, the solar power, all of those things, which uh, get shut down and um, not winterized because we leave it in the summertime, but shut down and water drained, etc. Um, I'm going to be making several videos, more than one a week here in the next couple of weeks because all summer I've been sitting down there in Mexico and people ask me to review products and I say, well, can you ship to Mexico? And they say no. Uh, so I tell them, well, hey, um, I'll be in uh, the United States in October. So they all start shipping me stuff in October. Uh, I know that uh, you don't sign up on my channel to watch reviews, but it's something that I enjoy doing and uh, I get stuff for free. <laughs> so <laughs> it all works out for me. Please watch them so that I can continue uh, to get free stuff. <laughs> I don't ask them to send me things that I don't think I can personally use. But um, I've made uh, quite a haul this time. One of them, I'm just looking at it over there because it's uh, over there on the dash charging. It's this uh, bird feeder with a uh, 1080p full HD camera that takes a picture of the birds when they're eating the bird seed. And uh, that's something that my son and I are really excited about. We're going to hang it up out there in the yard. This is one of the great birding areas in the United States, here in the Santa Rita Mountains, Madeira Canyon, the Huachucas. 
there's lots of bird activity around here and lots of bird watchers watching them. He's also talking about hanging up a little light. So at night, you can see the insects and the bugs that fly to it because that's his business. He's the bug boy. It'll be a, a bird cam in the daytime and a bug cam at night. Uh, they've sent me a gazebo uh, tent, huge, big one, good brand. Um, I've got a, a 12 volt to 240 volt uh, chest ice box. Boy, did I date myself there. <laughs> refrigerator freezer that I'm going to make into a freezer in my basement down there by my outdoor kitchen. Um, what else? Oh, uh, some alarm things. Anyway, I'm going to be doing videos more than once a week in order to uh, catch up on my reviews. But in the meantime, uh, I still am going to be making my usual Lynn and Jerry videos. I like Clamato. Lynn doesn't drink Clamato, Clamato, which means that it's okay if I just drink it out of the bottle. Makes it easy and of course Living in a motorhome, you want to limit the number of dishes, glasses, and cups, which is why I'm using paper plates, by the way. The only thing I really wind up washing is silverware. And yes, you can give me a bad time about not being green, because I use paper plates instead of washing them, but I'm not putting as much soap down the drain either. It's one of the, shall we call it luxuries, that I use paper plates all the time so that I don't have to wash dishes. But it's, a, it's not a lazy thing. It's a conservation of resources. It takes water to wash dishes. We have limited water in the motorhome. Um, that's why I do it. What else should we talk about today? Lynn, you got anything to talk about? The flies. The flies. Oh my God, the flies. You know, the last time we made a trip to um, South Dakota, Montana, Oregon, Nevada, back here to Arizona, I counted the flies I, caught, I killed, and we we're up over 500. 534 is the number that sticks in my mind. Is that about right, Lynn? I'd say so. I killed 500 and some flies. Now, I made a big deal out of it and counted them throughout the summer that we were RVing. And uh, I made up this rule. The rule is you have to kill them. You have to get it, the, 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 the body, and put it in the trash. It's not fair. You can't, like, go outside, find a dead cow, and start snap, slapping the flies. That You can't count them that way. Got to be in the motorhome, killed with the fly swatter, and put in the trash. And leave me a comment if you want me to do that this summer. Or you could oh, vacuum them up. A whole bunch of people didn't want me to do that. Jerry. What? It, you can count them if you vacuum them up. Well, yeah, I do. This is why every morning and every night I go around with my vacuum and I vacuum up the flies. Oh, there's one right there. I know it's going to be out of camera range, so I'm going to lie whether I get it or not. I did get it. I caught him in the glass. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's about all the fun my camera can stand for this morning. <laughs> What'd you say? My hair is a mess. I know. Thanks for helping. I was out in the wind. It is very windy. And boy, do we get wind in Arizona. It's very windy today. Check this out. The trees are a dancing. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.